This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Gamefly. Welcome back to another episode of Rumor Roundup with me, your host, Ashley Esqueda, or not John, as everyone's taken to calling me on the internet. Rumor Roundup is the show where we take all the best tech rumors from all over the internet, smash them into an easily digestible capsule format, and deliver it to you every week. Well, this week, we're talking about the Motorola X, an HTC One for Windows Phone, Facebook's foray into RSS readers, and the potential name of Nokia's highly anticipated EOS phone. This is Rumor Roundup, so let's get rumoring. Facebook is reportedly looking to fill the gaping RSS hole Google Reader will leave when it shuts down on July 1st. How well word on the street is Facebook's developing a mobile RSS reader that's reminiscent of Flipboard. The project is known as just Reader, and it seems that after the relative flop of Facebook Home and the HTC First, this is another attempt by Mark Zuckerberg to have access to whatever information hits your smartphone. He's allegedly watching the project closely and providing feedback to the Reader team, but at the end of the day, it'll be up to you, the users, to adopt additional apps for the massive social network. He'll have some serious competition, though, as sites like Dig, AOL, and even smaller startups like Feedly are scrambling to snap up disenfranchised Google Reader users. Users. So good luck, Zuck. The HTC One has proven to be a wildly successful Android flagship, and now reports are coming in suggesting HTC is developing a clone of the one that runs Windows Phone 8. It won't be an exact copy, but the sister one would sport the same aluminum body, Beats audio, and a display between 4 and 5 inches. We'd hopefully see a 4.7 or 5 inch display, mostly based on rumors that this phone would have Microsoft's GDR3 update on board which enables support for quad-core processors and 5-inch 1080p screens. It would also make a lot of sense for HTC, who could use a little OEM partner cash, and obviously Microsoft would benefit via another beautifully designed device for Windows Phone 8. We got another peek of the Motorola X, the device Google was reportedly working on alongside Motorola Mobility this week. It seems to be a phone headed for the Sprint network, so it's possible it could bear the Photon branding we've seen from Motorola devices on that carrier. It's not confirmed to be the Moto X in pictures, but the source involved believes it is the Moto X and goes on to say the phone has an approximately 4.5 inch screen, Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean, 16 gigs of storage, a 1.7 gigahertz Snapdragon processor, and 2 gigs of RAM on board. Those aren't exactly mind-blowing specs, but it'll be interesting to see how Google balances owning an active Android OEM with appeasing third-party companies like Samsung and HTC. The X phone is supposedly dropping sometime in September, but I think that actually seems a little bit late in the game for those specs. So let's hope we get a spec increase or a sooner launch. Lastly, we may have a name for the newest Windows Phone 8 flagship from Nokia or Nokia, depending on where you live in the world. The long rumored and highly anticipated Nokia EOS is a WinPhone 8 device with a 41 megapixel Carl Zeiss lens on board with pure view technology. We'll almost definitely see the final product on July 11th at Nokia's event, but this week the official name for the device may have leaked. Infamous mobile leaker at EVLeaks on Twitter claims that the Nokia EOS will officially be the Nokia Lumia 1020. It makes the most sense considering the Lumia 920 was the last flagship Lumia, but we're still going to cross all of our fingers and toes and hope this isn't just another AT&T exclusive here in the U.S. at launch because the wait for the Lumia 928 on Verizon and T-Mobile's 925 was way too long. Also, carrier exclusives kind of suck, right? We're going to take a minute to thank our sponsor today, Gamefly. Buying games for your console can be pretty pricey, especially if you're a power player who eats up games like Last of Us for breakfast. So the best way to go about it is to rent your games from Gamefly. But Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service and offers you a choice from over 7,000 new and classic titles across all consoles and handhelds. They've got games for PS3, Vita, Xbox 360, Wii U, Wii, 3DS, DS, and more. You can even go old school and rent some GameCube or PS2 games. With plans starting at $15.95 a month, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them for as long as they like. There's no late fees, no due dates, and shipping is always free. Once you're done playing a game, send it back and Gamefly will send you the next available game on your list. Boom! Just like that. Super easy. If you really like the game you're playing, simply click Keep It on the Gamefly website and the game is yours at a discounted price. 
Gamefly even mails you the case and manuals free of charge. For Techno Buffalo fans, you guys out there get a 15-day free trial when you go to www.gamefly.com slash technobuffalo. Make sure you use that link so they know we sent you. One more thing before we go, I want to tell you guys about Driven, our car-centric show over on TechFeed. John Redinger, the actual John Redinger, not not John, which is my name, here on Techno Buffalo's channel. So you definitely want to check it out. Just click right here. Click there and you'll be able to see the episode. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Rumor Roundup. We hope you enjoyed it. Leave them comments down below and we'll be back next week with a whole new group of rumors to discuss. Give us a thumbs up if you like the show. We always appreciate that. And be sure to visit technobuffalo.com for all the latest and greatest tech news. See you next time.